I'm meteorologist Sean Bellafuri here with a tropical weather update. We have a lot of things going on in the tropics, both in the Atlantic and the Pacific. But uh, before we get to the Atlantic, I want to talk about what's going on with Hurricane Hillary. Now, as of Thursday morning, Hillary was just a category one hurricane, but rapidly strengthened into Friday morning, the 18th with uh, category four winds, 145 miles per hour. It has a very, very compact eye and uh, that that eye is clearly visible on satellites this morning. So uh, the major concern with Hillary rapidly strengthening is, of course, that uh, the system would be gaining a lot of strength before moving its way into Baja, California and the desert southwest. But even though Hillary is a strong, powerful hurricane right now, it is expected to quickly weaken as it kind of rides along the west coast of Baja, California. By Sunday, winds of 75 miles per hour and by the time the core of this hurricane moves into Southern California, well, it'll actually be a tropical storm. Remember that only talks about the wind speed, so wind speeds will be quickly coming down as the system moves into a hostile environment with cool sea surface temperatures. But the big problem with Hillary was and will continue to be prolific rainfall. The flash flooding risk on Sunday when the worst of the rain is expected to start Sunday into Monday from Las Vegas southward Los Angeles eastward including the city of San Diego, there's a 20 to 50% chance of seeing flash flooding. And right down here from Palm Springs southward, there is actually a greater than 50% chance of seeing flash flooding. This is a major rainmaker for the desert southwest. Good because the desert southwest is in desperate need of some rainfall, of course, but this is going to be way too much falling way too fast. It doesn't look like terribly much, but two to six plus inches of rain on a widespread basis. That is more than some locations in the desert southwest see in a entire calendar year and that's going to be falling in just a couple of hours and the uh, National Weather Center or National Weather Service from Palm Springs southward where that uh, pink outlined area was highlighted uh, is showing a bullseye of four to nearly eight inches of rain from Palm Springs southward. Uh, as we take a look at Timecast, you can see uh, all the moisture moving in late Saturday into early Sunday. Sunday, an exceptionally rainy and dangerous day of weather for Southern California, Southern Nevada, and far western Arizona as well. Uh, it's going to be Sunday and Monday that the heaviest of the rain falls and that is going to cause some major flash flooding issues. Mudslides are going to be a big concern as well. Switching to the Atlantic, there are three waves in the main development region with a low, medium, high chance of development, and there's also this wave that's going to be moving its way into the central and western Gulf of Mexico. The one that moves into the Gulf of Mexico doesn't have a great chance of developing into anything more than maybe a tropical depression or tropical storm, likely moving ashore around or just south of Corpus Christi, Texas, and these two waves with the medium and the high chance uh, across the main development region of the Atlantic, uh, those are going to be waves to watch, but I think it's actually going to be this wave that moves its way westward across the Lesser Antilles into the Caribbean Sea or uh, just kind of hugging the islands. That could be one to watch, potentially threatening parts of the United States by the end of next week, the weekend before Labor Day. We'll, of course, have the latest updates right here on our YouTube channel. And, of course, you can go to our website, kwtx.com, for the latest.